This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. everybody and thanks for tuning in to this edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Edition and we are so happy that you can join us. We have eight students ready to go from Bell Fountain and Botkins. We want to introduce you now to our players joining us from Botkins. We have Nick Bittner, Josh Madden, Olivia Yuri, and Isabella Yuri. And Botkins is coached by Ryan Loy. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Bell Fountain High School. We have Ben Sailors, <laughs> Jolena Brown, Destiny Dick, and Lily Evans. And Bell Fountain is coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome to all of you. As you can see, we have many personalities up here, so we're gonna have a good time. All right, now, the first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. This is the hardest part sometimes, is speaking up as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? All right, ready? Here we go, question number one. Attila the Hun was one of the most feared enemies of which empire? Yes, Botkins. China. China is incorrect. Bell Fountain? Yes. The Mongolian Empire? Roman is what we're looking for. All right, number two. What three letter name can mean a group of dolphins? Yes, Botkins. A pod? Pod is correct. What was the first novel written on a typewriter? Time is up. The answer is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. All right, moving on to number four. Name the first South African leader to be elected in a true democratic election. Yes, that would be Botkins. Nelson Mandela. You are correct. All right, number five. Name the main character in the book The Hobbit. Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Frodo. Frodo is incorrect. Oh All right, Botkins. Bilbo Baggins. You are correct, Bilbo Baggins. All right, number six. What does an ichthyologist study? Yes, Botkins. Fish. Fish is correct. Number seven. Now extinct, what shark is thought to have been the largest ever on the earth? Yes, Botkins. Megalodon. Megalodon is correct. All right, moving on to number eight. What is the largest city in Libya? Time is up, teams. The answer is Tripoli. All right, two questions remaining in round one. Clara Barton founded what organization? Yes, Botkins. The Red Cross. Could you expand the name? The American Red Cross? That's what we're looking for. Very good. All right. Your last question in round one. What is the title of the first Harry Potter book? Yes, Bell Fountain. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That is the right answer. All right. We've come to the end of round one. Here's our score right now. Botkins with 60 points. Bell Fountain with 10. We'll be back with the last two rounds right after this. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Right, here's a score right now. Bell Fountain, you have 10 points. Bodkins with 60. That means you're going to lead the second round with five questions worth five points apiece. They're all yours, but please still buzz in, okay? What is a flat image that can be displayed in three dimensions? Our time is up. The answer is a hologram. All right, who was the first man to set foot on the moon? Yes. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is correct. 
Question number three. Sicily is the largest island in what sea? Yes. The Adriatic? That is incorrect. The answer is the Mediterranean. All right, two questions yet. Which American author wrote For Whom the Bell Tolls? Yes. Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. In finance, what does the letter P stand for in APR? Yes. Percentage. Percentage is correct. All right, Bell Fountain, your turn now for five questions worth five points apiece, and they are all yours. What was Muhammad Ali said to float like? Yes. A butterfly. A butterfly is the answer. What is the only New England state without a sea coast? Yes. Vermont. Vermont is the answer. Identify the state called the Great Salt Lake State. Yes. Utah. You are correct, Utah. All right, two questions remaining here. How many U.S. states border the Pacific Ocean? Yes. 16. 16 no, is incorrect. Five is the answer. It'd be California, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, and Hawaii. All right, final question, round two. Who are the religious leaders who continually tried to trap Jesus with their questions? Yes. The Pharisees. Pharisees is the answer. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of round two, and here's our score right now. Bell Fountain, you have 30 points now. Bodkins with 75. Our final round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. What U.S. state is called the Gem State? Yes, Botkins. Oregon. Oregon is incorrect. Do you want to try it, Bell Fountain? Sure. Nevada. Yeah. Nevada, also incorrect. Idaho is the answer. All right, food will not brown in what type of oven? Yes, that would be Botkins. Dutch. Dutch is incorrect. You've got a chance here with this one, Bell Fountain. Conduction. That's that is right. also incorrect. This will make a lot of sense. It's the microwave oven. Oh. All right, number three. Give the common name for the skin condition called tinea pedis. Oh, rash. That is incorrect. Shit. Botkins. Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot is the answer. All right. Number four. The leaves from what tree are the staple diet for the koala? Yes, Botkins. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is correct. All right. Number five. What vaccine did English physician Edward Jenner invent? Yes, that would be Botkins. Measles. Measles is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try? Pneumonia. Also incorrect. Smallpox is the answer. Okay, number six. What is a group of owls called? Yes, that'd be Botkins. Parliament. Parliament is the answer. Very good. All right. Number seven. Most adults have how many canine teeth? Yes, that would be Botkins. Four. Four is the answer. In what state is Area 51 located? Yes, Botkins. Nevada. Nevada is the answer. All right, you have two questions remaining here in your game. What is a polygon with four unequal sides called? Botkins? Parallelogram. That's incorrect. So, Bell Fountain, you've got a chance to answer this. Yeah. Trapezoid. That's also yes. incorrect. A quadrilateral is the answer there. Okay, your final question in your game. What are the first three words of the Bible? Yes, Bell Fountain. In the beginning. 
in the beginning. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our game. Between Bell Fountain and Botkins High School, here is our final score. Bell Fountain with 40 points, Botkins with 125. Congratulations, you'll be moving on. And Botkins, or in Bell Fountain, we want to thank you for joining us. All right, we'll be back with another game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. We just completed a game between Botkins and Bell Fountain High Schools. The winner there was Botkins. They'll be moving on to face the winner of this game now between Shawnee and Riverdale High Schools. We want to introduce you to the players joining us from Riverdale. We have Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Benjamin Borkowski, and Aaron Lease. And Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. All right, turning now to Shawnee High School, we have Isaac Hanover, Harsha Batula, Eric New, and Kai Malcolm. And Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome to you, gentlemen. All right, our first round, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. Make sure you speak as loudly as possible and make those answers as complete as possible. Here we go, question number one. Identify the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Riverdale. Uh, omega. Omega is correct. What is myeloid tissue also called? Time is up, teams. The answer is bone marrow. All right, number three. Identify what the acronym SIDS stands for. Yes, Shawnee. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. That is correct. Moving on to number four. The bark of the willow tree was originally used to make what medicine? Shawnee. Painkillers. Painkillers. Aspirin. Um, aspirin is the answer there. All right, number five. In Athens, Greece, what temple is atop the Acropolis? Yes, Riverdale. The Parthenon. Parthenon is correct. What disease is the focus of oncology? Yes, Shawnee. Cancer. Cancer is correct. Question number seven. Who succeeded President Nixon when he resigned? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is correct. In the human body, what is the longest bone? Shawnee. The femur. The femur is correct. All right, what is Chicago's nickname? Yes, Riverdale. The Windy City. The Windy City is right. And our final question in our first round, the character Piggy is found in what? Yes, that would be Shawnee. The Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. That went quickly. Riverdale with 30 points, Shawnee with 60. Moving on now to our second round. Shawnee, you will have the first five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? An army is the name used for a collective group of what amphibians? Yes. Frogs. Frogs is correct. All right. 80 stones make up this English prehistoric monument. Yes. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is correct. So what is the largest city of New Mexico? Yes. San Juan. That is incorrect. The answer is Albuquerque. All right, two questions remaining here. Where is the pituitary gland located? Yes, Shawnee. The brain. 
the brain is correct. And your final question in the second round. In what country does Canterbury Tales take place? Yes. England. England is the right answer. All right, moving over to Riverdale now with your five questions. Please buzz in. How many chambers are in the human heart? Yes. Four. Four is the right answer. What beverage is traditionally drunk by the winners of the Indy 500? Yes. Milk. Milk, correct. Name the author of The Hunt for Red October. Yes. Uh, Clive Cussler. That is incorrect. Tom Clancy is the answer. Okay, two questions remain yet. What NBA player is the youngest to score 28,000 career points? Yes. LeBron James. That is correct, LeBron James. Here's your final question in round two. What is the name of the main evil villain in the movie Aladdin? Yes. Jafar. Jafar is correct. All right. We've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here is our score. Riverdale with 50 points. Shawnee with 80. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company committed to you and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. Here's our score right now. Riverdale with 50 points, Shawnee with 80. We have 10 questions left to go. These are all up for grabs. Get those buzzers ready and here we go. A goiter is an enlargement of what? Yes, Shawnee. The neck. The neck is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? What we're looking for is the thyroid gland. All right, number two. Who wanted to kill Jesus when he was a baby? Yes, Riverdale. Herod. We will accept that, that's correct. Herod, King Herod. What is the chemical symbol for gold? Riverdale. AU. AU is the answer. Legend says that only what will kill a werewolf? Riverdale. Silver. Could you expand that? Uh, silver weaponry. We can't take that answer, so we're going to turn it over to Shawnee. Yes? A silver bullet. A silver bullet is what we're looking for. All right. Number five, what is the term for a zero score in tennis? Shawnee. Love. Love is correct. What are the colors of all the houses and hotels in Monopoly? Yes, Riverdale. Green and red. That's correct, green and red. The disease scurvy can occur as a lack of what vitamin? Riverdale. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is it? Pride and Prejudice was written by what author? Yes, Riverdale. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. Number nine, what is America's leading dairy state? Riverdale. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the answer. And here's your final question in your game. What is the northeasternmost state in the United States? Riverdale. Maine. Maine is correct. All right, great job. You, <laughs> we've come to the end of our game between Riverdale and Shawnee, and it was a close one up to the very end. Here's our final score, Shawnee, 100 points. Riverdale, you're the winner with 120. Congratulations, you came on strong there in that last round. Shawnee, thank you so much for joining us again this year. Thanks for playing along at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.